paradise life relaxing. The villa houses for the crew, how we do? Paradise life relaxing. This is Greg, aka Mr. Flip Flop, owner of Flip Flop Sports Bar and Taco Shop. We are located up the hill before Sasua Beach. If you pass the yellow steps, you went too far. Welcome to Flip Flop! What's up, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here at Flip Flop Sports Bar, here with my boy Dr. K. Uh, we're here to talk about his business, For the Brothers LLC. Now, one thing about him is he's a good friend of mine, owner for a very long time. People always ask, how can he stay here so long? Well, for you guys that want to invest and looking for different streams of income, he's here to give you the info on how he's here all the damn time. Now, he is an MD for real, for real, hence the name Dr. K. All right, so right now, we're going to let him talk about his business. Now, do me a favor, uh, Dr. K. Please give us an outline of your business. Well, it's very simple. I own uh, automated teller machines, ATMs, privately okay. uh, in the New York metro area. And uh, basically, from there, we get paid from surcharges and from the back end that the banks get. So, you know, that's a, an independent business that you can get passively uh, from the machines that I have. Okay, so now me and you, I've known you for I've been over 10 years. Yeah, 10 years, All man. Right, 10 years. And one thing about him is, if you guys know me, I've extended my trip, extended my trip, extended my trip. <laughs> this guy's king of extending trips. So I've known him for a long time. So we were talking the other day. And the question that kept coming to me, how does he stay here so long? So now we're, where he's going into how he stays here so long, like you said, with passive income. Also, um, usually how long do you stay when you do these trips? Yeah, you know me. I've been coming since like 2010, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. He was my OG. <laughs> he was showing me all the ropes out here. And uh, I was in medical school, actually, when yes, I was you were. first yes, here. Yes, you were. So uh, I started working uh, when I got my degree and my license. And I was working full time. You know, I was working uh -huh. six days that. a week. And uh, they only gave me about three weeks of vacation a year, you know, which uh, is excessive. When I'm working 80 hours a week, maybe a, maybe 100, uh, and I'm already used to traveling, it started to bog me down, you know, and I started getting a little depressed because my outlet was traveling, right? Okay. So eventually I started moving into uh, seven days on, seven days off, having more time off. But even then, it wasn't allowing me to go away for three, four weeks if mm -hmm. I wanted to. So I had a business partner who was doing uh, automated teller machines and credit card machines, and he told me there was an opportunity to jump in there right now. And because I was liquid, I started investing into it. So uh, now, you know, I'm traveling for three, four months. Non-stop. <laughs> I've been here for, since July, you know what I mean? Last year I was in uh, Colombia for three months. I was in Nigeria for five months, you know, so I traveled for a long period of time, you know, longer than the average travel, I'll okay. tell you that. And this is my next question. So we know you're a doctor. Yeah. All right. Being what you're explaining to us now, that's what people want to know. How are you able to take all these trips? So what happened was when I joined the uh, Ford and Bubba's LLC with my partner, Glenn Herbert, uh, in New York, I was able to put in money in uh, the ATM business. Uh, we started small, we only had six machines uh, three years ago, and uh, we've now grown to 42 machines. Oh, nice. yeah, yeah. And uh, we're actually getting a lot of money from the surcharges and the back ends from the banks. And we also own credit card machines where, with the credit card machines, if somebody swipes any purchase that they make, we get a percentage of it. And uh, that is just accumulating, and after a while, you make enough money to be able to, to take these trips without actually working. Okay, so here's another thing. So as, you, as you were getting into that, might as well keep continuing. Yeah. Um, how exactly do you make money from the ATMs? So ATMs, are automated teller machines, there's a surcharge. Some of us come to uh, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Plata, and you have to use your uh, ATMs. And when you use the ATMs, you notice that they're going to ask for a charge. You know, over here, maybe 250 pesos. In the United States, it could be anywhere from 125 to 850, depending on the location. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Or oh, the strip club, $25. Go ahead. <laughs> exactly. And every time uh, our brothers go to the strip club, to quote, unquote, uh, they spend that exactly. money and it comes to the owner of that machine. Now, a lot of people are confused. They think that uh, these ATMs are owned by the banks. No. In fact, about 70% of ATMs in the United States right now are owned independently by oh, individuals. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's, a, it's an opportunity for you to get in and get paid by people using your money. 
You know, it's a vending machine for money. Money, basically, yeah. So that's how you get paid from the surcharges, and not only from the surcharges. Sometimes you go to the ATMs and you notice you just want to check your balance. Well, guess what? We get paid every time every you check time the you balance. Check, yes. Because the bank that provided you that ATM card has to pay us for using our machines to get your balance. So okay. whatever you do, whether it's transfers, deposits, withdrawals, that's how we're going to get paid. I have a quick question. Well, as I said, we're going to continue because I like how you're flowing. So, what is required to own an independent ATM? Now, the reason why I love this business so much is a lot of people are like, do I need to get a license? Do I need to go to school? Yeah. Do I need to have some type of uh, 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 requirement before I join the business? And I'll be honest. I'm, when you were telling me, I'm saying that like, I never knew he did this. <laughs> I, I was thinking, do you got to get licensed? Do you got to take a permit? You know, that's what I would think immediately. But go ahead. We want to know what do you need for this? Generally, the one requirement is that you don't have a felony in the financial institution. Makes you know, sense. If you've been involved in any type of fraud or scamming and you want to open your own ATM business, they're going to ask you those questions. Okay. Uh, besides that, that is the only requirement in order to join in the ATM business, not to have a felony. Uh, right, in, see, in yeah, a fraud, I, I fraud never knew this. Yeah. I never knew. So, how many do you own? And repeat again the name of your business. Okay. For the Brothers LLC. For the Brothers LLC. Now, we did that because we want to attract and we want to help our brothers. And obviously, you can tell by the color of our skin who those brothers are. We want to make sure we're able to bring our own financial institution to our communities. And for the type of people that come to these countries and like to travel. I know Flip has helped at this point, probably thousands of black Easy. brothers. Easy. <laughs> so you know those are the type of people that come out here and they're always wondering how we're able to get money without actually having to work. Exactly. You know, like our other counterparts. You know, I don't want to say who they are. You know, I don't want to say anything that mess up the, the channel. But we want to help our brothers. So that's why we named me and Glenn Herbert, we named it For the Brothers LLC. And we started with five. We're at 42 after uh, wow. three years. So, uh, you know, we're doing pretty well right now. Okay, so shout to Glenn, by the way. <laughs> um, and just, uh, I think a question people will ask me once this video is over, and the contact info will be in the pinned pin up comments, yes. is what would be some of the cons and the pros and the problems that you might run into doing the ATM business? Yeah, so you know, we came and we started fresh. So I'm well equipped to tell you exactly some of the cons that are gonna come with the business. One, you gotta find locations. You know, it's not that easy. A lot of locations already have ATMs. So they're gonna come and tell you, listen, I don't want you to put my machine. I already have a contract with somebody, mm -hmm. right? So then another problem would be you have to buy the machine, right? Not only you have to buy the machine, you have to maintain the machine. You know, if you're out of the country and uh, something happens with your machine, the only person that's going to be able to fix that is either you or somebody that you've contracted out to take care of the machines while you're outside of the country. So a lot of people don't want to run into those type of problems, you know. Uh, another issue would be making sure that you get enough track or enough people going to those locations to get your money back because you're not only uh, paying the, the getting the surcharges you still have to pay that location that you have the business owner you need to give them a percentage of your surcharges or you can give them a flat fee you know and if you're not getting enough people uh, patronizing your machines you're not going to be making enough money for it to make sense to you to go over there and to change it and of course you need to always obviously have insurance on your machines because we all know people destroy machines because they know there's money in it you know so you got to be able to have money set aside to protect those machines for insurance and uh, those are the cons that are going to happen when you try to start out on your own and that's why we started this opportunity so we can help some brothers out you know and that's what I was getting to next so basically what does what opportunities does for the brothers LLC provide so I'm the type of person that I don't want to force anybody to get in business with me I show them the business I let them know what it's about. We even have a consultancy fee if you want to do it on your own and show you how to seamlessly go through the business. But with us, not only are you able to have your own machines without a problem, you can just give the money. With developing your own LLC, you're going to need to have your own business. It's very cheap to get an LLC or a S Corp. And with that, you'll have tax purposes. Then once you have your S Corp, or your LLC, you'll have a tax ID. With the tax ID, you'll have your own business ATM. With that, I mean, your own business uh, bank account. With your own business bank account, you can write off so much in tax purposes and from the government to save you a lot of money. 
And the biggest thing about this is ownership. So we're working with us and having a joint venture after you have the LLC. Once everything is in contract with accountants, we have our own accountants. With lawyers, we have our own lawyers. If you want to bring your own lawyer, you feel free to do that. Now you own a viable business that can be seen in the, in, by the government as a real ownership business. And you don't need to go and refill these machines. You don't need to fix or maintain these machines. We already have a conglomerate of 42 machines, so we know exactly what we're doing. And we want to develop an executive board, basically. You know, there are more opportunities. Once we've grown to a certain number of machines, check this out, we can start our own credit union. And that's, that's dope, right? You start your own credit union, now you're able to sponsor businesses. If they need loans, we can give that out. Not only that, we can get a credit line up to $4 million. With $4 million, we can take a certain amount, put it back in the machines, get a return of interest, and break off all of our partners a piece of the money that they had because they started with. So it, the, the the opportunities are endless when it comes to Florida Brothers LLC. As I see, and you know what's crazy? So you sprung this on me. This was a surprise. I had no idea. Remember, I, we were talking and I said, people keep harassing me. How you still down? <laughs> so then you pulled me to the side and you told me. And I was like, wow. I, I, I thought it was so dope. I never knew. So... Are there any other surprises? What other uh, affiliate businesses are you involved in? <laughs> yeah, you know, so we, can, so, we, so we can know what else you got cooking up. That's not, I got to take the time out to, uh, how do I say, congratulate uh, Mr. Flip Flop himself. I've seen him when he first came here. Like Facts. I said, he's my OG, Facts. and he's grown tremendously. And while I was sitting down with Glenn, because Glenn came down for his birthday, you know, you saw him. Yes. And, uh, uh, and I was like... It would be so cool if we can just partner up with Flip, you know, allow him to grow his business, maybe get a piece of this as well, just off the, because the lot of people he knows, he can really change the dynamics of the black community, really, of the black male community. So, the other things we have, we, we have somebody named Adrian, uh, he's part of Keller Williams, I don't know if you know about Keller Williams, he's one of the biggest real estate uh, uh, proprietors in the United States. He actually started uh, in the North Coast here with a lot of uh, uh, oh, properties. Okay. Yeah. So, so I know some guys try to come down here and want to buy property, but there's a lot of problems that come along with being in the If you don't country. do it the right way. If yes. you don't do it the yeah, right I way. I tell people that all the time. Sure pretty, uh, yeah. Mr. Flip Flop knows exactly what he's saying when he does that. But uh, we have uh, Adrian that is helping us with that. We manage properties. We have, uh, if you want to come and rent for cheaper, we have properties here already. Uh, not only that, we... Not only the ATMs, like I said, we have credit card business uh, machines where now you don't even have to put the money in. You just put your machine in and anytime that there's a transaction, you get a percentage of the purchase fee. So we, we're doing a lot. We're trying to, you know, we, we have a vision and we just want more people involved because the more people that's involved, the faster it grows and the more opportunities for you to have ownership and give something to your children. And I, I will say this, you know, one thing we've always talked about, investment opportunities, building, you know what I'm saying? Networking. That's why when we talked about that, so we got to do the video because the reality is, I never knew about ATMs. You know, I heard a friend of mine years and years ago said he had like one or two ATMs. Never thought none of it. I was probably 16, 17 years old. Um, and I, back then I thought maybe he owns a bank. I don't know. <laughs> Seriously. But you know, this information is vital because he can help somebody. Now, I will have the contact information yeah. for the company and for you in the bottom of this video. But I want to thank you. And like I said, people were always asking, how's he down here? How's he down here? And I tell people, every time he says he's leaving, I go, no, he's not going anywhere. He's, he's, he'll be here tomorrow. Stop it. I think, he said he's got a flight now, but I don't believe it anyway. So, uh, Dr. K, I appreciate you, brother. No problem, man. Uh, this is my Thanks little bro right here. So, we're bringing you Definitely good investment cool, info. Yes, sir. Uh, this, for, this is for America, though. If you want to do this, this ATM business, is in America, but just have another opportunity. And uh, if you guys are interested, hit him up. Yeah. Uh, hit him, Glenn, for the Brothers LLC. And you guys can see what you can do with that. You know, Let me just add a few things that Glenn Williams The minimum uh, to get into ours is 5000 okay. With 5000 you get three machines, 50% ownership. Not only that, you get an application to see how much transactions are occurring at your machines. Uh, you're able to sell them. This is a... a this is a product, and you can actually sell it after what, when, you know, whenever you want to. The money is not going anywhere. You know, ownership is key when it comes yes, to it making is. money. You know, you don't want to be working for somebody because, like everybody says, nobody can pay you like you can pay yourself. You know, it's a great opportunity, and like I said, you don't even have to uh, 
buy machines. If you know locations that need a machine, we can pay you to put machines there anywhere in the nation. We're gonna pay you just to put machines there. Or if you know people who are liquid, you wanna get into a business, you tell them that you have this opportunity and we can pay you for being involved. We wanna make sure everybody gets money. That's the most important thing. And there's no way you can make money except for making, letting your money make money. You know what I mean? So like I said, Make sure you guys come check out Fit Fop 100%. I love the wings here. The food here is amazing. Feel at home. And I'd just like to thank him for the opportunity that he gave me to just, you know, to, to talk to the world, you know? Nah, I appreciate you, brother. We'll talk. And I'm going to have that info when the thing. Hey, you have a safe flight, even though I don't think you're leaving. <laughs> but, uh, guys, we out. Stay tuned. And uh, we'll be back with more.